Hey guys, Tim the Toolman Cook back here from All Seasons Maintenance with another Tool Time Gear Review. This week we got something a little bit different, a little smaller, so we're down in my beautifully painted lime green office, which would be great for green screen videos, but it'll uh, it'll get painted this year. Anyway, we are starting with the Accurite Fridge and Freezer Alarm System. This is something I've wanted for a long time. Finally broke down and got one I think around April. Wanted to use it for a few months before I did a review on it for you. But I know a lot of guys in my community use this kind of thing, and if you're working hard and you've got a fridge and freezer full of meat and other products, why not have this to protect this your is the base unit here? And it gives you two separate um, alarm systems, so you can monitor, like I said, two separate systems. You can do a fridge and a freezer, two fridges, or a fridge freezer combination, or in my case, two deep freezes I have in the basement that I don't have constant contact or access with so I want to be able to make sure that it uh, doesn't go bad. So basically over here you'll see there's a 18 and minus 26. My temperatures are in Celsius but there's other ways to do it. The button on the left hand side that sets the alarm. You can turn it on or off. It's not hugely loud like a um, say a smoke alarm but it's definitely loud enough you know it's going off. Uh, clear button here to get rid of the memory and these two on each sections here that records the high and low temperature that each of those uh, sensors have run since you've either replaced the batteries or since you reset the uh, data that you're saving in it. Real simple, uh, made by Accurite. Like I said, came off Amazon. We'll flip this guy over so you can see the back. So I'm missing one battery already, uh, but I don't really need it on battery. Er, so you'll see that I'm missing one magnet already, but I don't really need a magnet on it because I just keep it on a uh, end table in the house because that's a good spot for it. <clears throat> so you get a little switch here for Celsius to Fahrenheit. Um, here is the reset uh, little port. You need to stick a pin in that to reset it. Anytime you change batteries, you need to make sure you reset it. One little blip I have seen so far is that sometimes one or the other sensors don't pick up when you reset it, so you gotta do it a second time. Not the end of the world, but you know. So inside here, that is where the AAA batteries go. Two AAA batteries in this thing. One of my other main gripes is that the sensors, which send the signal, they use two AA batteries, but this guy uses two AAA batteries. And one thing I like is to use the same batteries for everything, but that isn't the end of the world. My biggest thing is why not put two AA batteries in this uh, monitoring unit? Simply because it would last longer and I've had to replace the batteries a couple times and if you don't catch it then you have to reset the whole system and make sure you're picking up those uh, sensors again. But So there's that. Like I said it's got magnets so you can stick it on the side of a fridge if you want. It also has this flip down port so you can hang it on a screw on a wall. Um, now, let's take a look at these sensors. I'm sure you've noticed they're blinking, which means they're sending and receiving. We'll flip this guy over. And I just took them out of the freezer a few minutes ago, so you'll notice the temperature starting to rise. And so let's flip these guys. You get two sensors with it. The number one sensor shows up here, number two down here. It has a clip, so if you want to stick it on a wire basket in your freezers, which I don't use, um, also a nearly useless suction cup, which would work great inside a fridge, but in a freezer it's just too cold. So I basically just set these on top of the motor cabinet inside the deep freeze, which is about halfway down, and it seems to give me a really good balance of temperature. I don't want it right close to the door, so it, it uh, alarms itself as soon as you open the door, but I'd like it kind of in the middle so it doesn't stay at the bottom and not warn me when the top stuff is completely melted. Here's the battery port in here. I love these Eneloop Panasonic lithium ion batteries. They've been really good. Um, minus 20 to 25 in my freezer. The battery life is pretty good. I'm getting about three months out of these sensors. I've had to replace each one once. And like I said, the main system, I think I've had to replace the batteries twice since April. So I'm not as big a fan of that, but I don't want something I have to plug in all the time. So the regular price is $37.20. Last Black Friday, it came on for $24.64, and it seems to come on sale at about $28 bucks quite often, so 25% off. Um, you know, I'm real keen on this product. It's worked great for me for what I paid for it. it um, 
has a B rating on FakeSpot. So if you want to check out another website that's great for checking things out, go to FakeSpot. It runs all of the reviews from Amazon through it to see if they're legit or paid for advertisement type thing. Uh, 3.5 star review on Amazon with uh, FakeSpot adjusted review of three stars uh, with over 3,000 reviews. So I'm happy with that. And FakeSpot says it's 80% reliable. So also pretty good. A um, couple of downsides to this, the range is definitely less than advertised, which is the same with all wireless products. They test them in a wide open field and you use them in a real world, walls involved, that sort of thing. So I basically got them sitting the sensor above the freezers, so one floor below. The uh, sensors are in the deep freeze and the uh, receiver is above that in the living room. It's worked good for me, you know. Um, one of the big reasons I picked this guy up is because one of my new deep freezes does not have a light on it. So I'm down there once a day anyway, I always look at the light. This one didn't have one and I needed a reason to, you know, keep monitored on it. And this has worked really good. So if you guys are looking for a decent quality, low priced uh, double freezer, fridge and freezer sensor system, this works. I really like it. I'll give you some close up footage in the review as we go along. Uh, there'll be a link at the bottom if you're looking to buy it. But honestly, I just wanted to share with you guys yet another piece of gear that I use on a daily basis that I've really liked. So anyway, guys, I appreciate it. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy and have a great week.